Hello, hello. Oh, it's really weird not having sound in my head right, headset right now. <laughs> I'm here. Oops, my sound was on. I am um, debated whether or not to stream tonight because of this nagging cough. Um, and I guess it's more like a tickle. Like in my throat, you know, noses draining, and my, <clears throat> the the mucinex that I had been taking had been doing its job, which was to loosen stuff up so stuff could be hacked up, but. Um, I don't know, tonight's been annoying with this cough. And <clears throat> I wasn't sure I wanted to stream, but um, I mean, I did want to play the game, but I don't want to be coughing on stream. But for morale, I kind of, I'm like, I need to do this for, for my sanity, for cheering myself up a little bit, because this cold has me little down in the dumps but um anyway hey guys <laughs> um i actually meant to go live at nine but i was helping my mom try to get a game on her tablet the angel the baseball game on her tablet even though they're losing and yeah i know you guys would have missed me <clears throat> I might step away for a quick second in the next hour to go um, take my meds, mm. Sudafed, and uh, probably some cough syrup just to coat the throat, stop the... I'm all out of my cough drops, or I'd be sucking on those. I need to go... <coughs> stock up on more next time I go to Target. Target seems to be the only place that has the ones I really like. There are hauls and they were a vanilla honey, so they were, you know, the sweetness from the vanilla. And there, there might have been a little bit of like eucalyptus somewhere in there or whatever, but um, they worked great. And I used up the last couple that I had earlier in the week. But, um, oh no, Deacon, hey, you're raised. There we go. <clears throat> Man, I'm so tired of blowing my nose and wiping my nose. My upper lip is so chapped. <laughs> and it's just an average common cold. <laughs> anyway. Ow, I just bit my lip. I'm done with my snack. Um, maybe Twitter. And I think... <coughs> I should finally be getting to my first um, hoard tonight. Hey, Ben. Let's look up.
Okay, there's Twitter. Dang. The Dodgers have won 11 in a row. Wow. <clears throat> but this is why I wasn't sure about streaming. Happy Friday. Come on. Oh my goodness. There we go. I already said my meow to Oscar on Facebook chat. <laughs> oh, my Sammy's sleeping by my slider door. <clears throat> Post Facebook real quick and then I will <laughs> go Yankees. Oh, Chacho. So I already told this to Raised and Ben. I knew Ben would be like, oh. but um, my mom scored tickets for Angels game Monday night. They're playing Seattle. Otani is supposed to be pitching, and the tickets are Diamond Club tickets. She scored them from her boss. And her boss gets like, I mean, we've gotten great Ducks tickets, but this is like on my bucket list. I always wanted to, to get diamond seats, diamond club seats for a game. Yep, so I, yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm just like over the moon. <clears throat> so that'll be my, that'll be my Monday night. <clears throat> okay. It's a pretty nice profile of Deacon, huh? <clears throat> so this could be a shorter stream, like two hours. We'll see. We'll see how it goes.
and they all oh, that's cool. <coughs> I, moved, I moved my mic up, so I was like hopping on it. <laughs> Which reminds me, I'm probably going to want to wipe it down this weekend. You can probably hear me, just I'm, I'm probably sounding more faint. It's cut up by my nose. <laughs> All right, publish. A little cloudy. Is it shot? Okay. Uh-oh. Checking the bike. Um, okay, we're good. Map. Oh yeah, Bounty Hunter. Oh, that's right. We we got to we got to chase. So <coughs> I remember. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Sorry about that. Where's the spot? Still 
got them. Colonel, I've spotted him. It's him, all right. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. All right. Oh, come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! not a restart option. Colonel, spotted him. It's him all right. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Right. Come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! out of bullets. Is there something I can do? <sighs> Wish I had a proximity mine or C4. sure what to do. Huh. 
not really have any uh, explosives. I don't think we'll... Hold on a sec. Okay, um... Which way? Back on track. Colonel, I've spotted him. It's him already. Remember the... Hey! Come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! Where are you going? <laughs> you can't get... Shoot the bike, Deke! Shoot the bike! Don't let him get away, Deke. I'm just gonna let it end so I can restart. I can what? What? This actually has a fail safe if you failed it too many times. Or am I just gonna not? No. That's an, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure I trust it either as far as like not penalizing me with like a percentage. I mean, this is just a bounty hunt. I suppose I could always do it later. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Colonel, I've spotted him. It's him right? Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yes, sir. Colonel, I'll get him. Say, John, out. All right. Oh, come on, you asshole. Corporal, you got the wrong guy. 
No, don't use a bullet on him. <laughs> what did you hog time? Do, you son of a, a bitch. No, no. Okay, what the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Let go. Please. Just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I stashed you. I swear. Sorry, pal. Tell it to the colonel. <coughs> Colonel, I've got him. Alive. Transmitting coordinates now. Corporal, good. I'm sending a patrol now. Report back to me. Garrett out. It doesn't look too bad. That's it. Actually, can I fast travel? Oh, fine. Hey, Teflon. <clears throat> oh, I almost had burn this. Burn it down. Yeah. Another one. Yeah, time to light it up. Oh, okay, no. <clears throat> Oh no, 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 no! <coughs> ah, I'm out of bullets. I think I need a better handgun. All right, here we go. Let's 
Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why do I know? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Oh boy. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, how much shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. So I gotta admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with the... Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here, yeah. I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the Colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, <clears throat> stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take for the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. The Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. Back in the day, I used to starve myself. You know, stay thin. What an idiot I was. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. I remember. <laughs> Ooh la la. There's a community college east of here. Off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. She's actually holding on to him and not the back of the seat. I guess that was just... Hey, so I gotta ask. Uh, all this stuff. The, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. <clears throat> one point one kilometers. Ew. Go, go, go. You, move your ass. Oh. Can I 
ask you something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story. No uh -oh. survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but um but that night in farewell, my mongrels ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Liar, liar, Sarah. It's okay. The truth will come out later. Woohoo! Ah, Here, I think this is it. <laughs> Been here before? Once. Or? Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting um. careers in biochemistry. <laughs> what? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <sighs> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Oh, the good old crate. <sighs> Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps. Set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back. Uh oh. I hear Newt. Ah, damn it, Newt's. I heard Newt. Wait, wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn Newt's. Now, come on, let's just go around. The Newt's won't attack if they don't feel threatened. They'll just watch. We're not getting through. No. Whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy? I think I can get this. Ah, there. Not so hard. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? Push! You ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh shit! Back, 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 back. Oh fuck. Yeah. Alright, why don't we find another way? No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. What? We can do this. Uh, 
If we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down cover and fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. No, do you... No, 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 no. Sure yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... Man, why? Whoa, lay it into No, you don't. Come on down. It's clear. You okay? Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. See if there's a hole in any of these walls. A place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? Hey, over here. There's an open window. <laughs> Coming. I know. I was right by it. Hi, Boo. <gasps> meow, meow. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Oh, uh, hell. Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Oh, Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Jeez. <coughs> oh God, why are we laughing? I don't know. You know, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. I did say hi to Abu. You didn't hear me? Ready? Hi, Abu. Meow. Let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. no, no, I got this. I got it. She's gonna kick it. <coughs> oh. <coughs> See? I told you. <coughs> Like I said, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. <sighs> so Brown pants, how Deacon? Badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Wow, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. Oh, shit. 
More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey! Another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, this time... <laughs> Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, alright? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Motherfucker, no! Uh, uh, son of a bitch! Get, uh, get off of me! Sarah, hold on! Damn it, Sarah! 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 No, damn it. No. Sarah! Sarah! Where are you? Come on, answer me! If anything's happened to you. Sarah! There are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. Fine. Come on, we're almost there. Deep breaths, Deacon. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, <clears throat> I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? <clears throat> no, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. Well, I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? Lots of cutscenes. Oh, God damn it! Hey, hey, it's okay. It's sure jammed we'll like fine. all the rest. Another way. Oh, oh, shit! Wait, hold on, hold on for a second. Those are those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means there's got to be a way yeah. from the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. Hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. 
Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mm -hmm. mean? You remind me of that little girl. The one in farewell. The one that fucking stamped you. She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. Won't stop them from killing you. I know. <clears throat> Oh, shoot. the last of them you enjoyed that well, killing newts no but I mean you gotta admit they're pretty goddamn annoying you're right about that Here, give me your hand. Okay. <coughs> Careful. Steady. I got this. All right. <coughs> See how you smell after two years. No thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is going to be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. There's no uh, bullet holes, no sign of it. Violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. Job of hiding the bike. All right, let's do this. Stay put. Keep your head down. Yeah, good idea. Dammers, freaks. Kill them now. Oh no, freakers. Stay back! No! Get out of the way! Let them do the work. 
saw something. Clear as it's gonna get. Let's move. How you doing on ammo? I got enough! Got Molotovs. Got a Molotov. It's clear. Let's move. Hold on a second. I gotta get that centrifuge. Okay. 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 All right, I got it. Let's go. Oh, Jesus, that was a really big gun. Yeah. Sort of noticed that. more of them, a lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. 
Rob, here you can Oops, see the I was muted. <laughs> going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Whoa. Uh oh. Shit. Okay. I will be right back. I'm gonna pause it. I will be right back.
Okay. I'm back. I took my soup bed. And I have some cough syrup that I want to take later. Because if I take it now, I'm afraid it might make me sleepy. It's um, the adult version with 1.4% alcohol. And even though it says non-drowsy, it usually makes me drowsy. So I'm going to hold off on taking that until I'm done streaming. <clears throat> See if I fare better without taking the actual mu snacks. Oh, I gotta heal. Oh, good. 
Whoa. my pipe bomb. Or a grenade. Shot. Hey, come on out! Come out now and we'll talk it over. See if we can come to some sort of understanding. I rubbed my nose too hard because I had an itch. I had an itch. And I was rubbing my nose to scratch it and I rubbed it too hard. I got a use for you. Aw, oh, man. Changed since then. <sighs> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I had goldfish as a kid. What uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? 
Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, let's move. Got it. <clears throat> Aw, his jacket's all bloody. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't have to drive back. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. You're welcome. <laughs> See, I can't laugh without coughing. Welcome to your world race, am I right? <laughs> oh, gotta go see the dock. Good night, Chacho. Thanks for hanging out. D, Corporal in command. Sergeant, how's it going? Ooh, let's see what I can get now. Can I buy it? <gasps> oh yeah, I got me one of those. Nice piece. Oh yeah, I wanted a better sidearm. Only I don't know which one. Not little stubby. <coughs> kind of want that one, but I guess I can't buy it yet. Still looking for a decent AR. Gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Every little bit helps, yeah? <coughs> okay, now that's more like it. Oh, big spender.
Okay, so it eclipsed my new one. Hells yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, okay. Oops, St. John's. I'll see you around, yeah? I wonder if I should probably ride my bike up there. Corporal, how are you? Sergeant, how's life in the races? <sighs> this is it? Just this one? <sighs> okay. One ear. Good. Well, things must be slow out there, huh? Corporal St. John, you take care now. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Look at that sniper gun. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Can't wait to use that baby. No, I don't want to talk to Garrett. Where's my bike? I could eat anything. What's up? Nothing. There's. Ewing, yeah, I'm I'm playing on the PS5 on my shelf. And it's awesome. Whoop. I guess I didn't have to go very far with the bike after all. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Like something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all of this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel. It's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't entiendo. Know what I do if, I if anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in the ship before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do. I like when they're just close together. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near. Fort <laughs> Look at that massive gun. That is what I'm talking about. 
think I would learn. I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Ooh, my audio and visual is out of sync, and I don't hey, know what to oh do about God. it. You say thank you one more time. I... Ooh, la, 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 la. Let me know when you're ready to go. Somewhere, Lieutenant? <coughs> Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I don't know. You know that I can handle it myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what's going on. Like that all about anyway what all the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless you know considering hey you're in the army once you should know that was different how oh there were more people in the world i don't know i mean having a military made more sense i think it makes more sense now <coughs> it's utter fucking chaos out here we need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it you know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, <clears throat> you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's giving us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going anywhere. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh, my 
I'm not. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just. I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. I pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. <clears throat> oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. <laughs> I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up. Sarah, I did. And then, I, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna let him down. So I, I didn't wanna go out that way. And then I found out that, that you were still alive in that, that's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. The Tealson Tunnel. Uh oh. I'm gonna need your help to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um,. Could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help move this or what? Yeah, sure. Huh. Already took care of them. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. This looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Yeah. 
Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear power generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Dang. Well, you guys are a little more high tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh my god. What is it? Nothing. It's. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Wow, well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food, it's got water, it's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! Scene. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> <laughs> Sarah, 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 Oh my god. <laughs> not cool game, not cool. Talk about your angry bird. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, God, crows. God, crows. <laughs> yeah, Q hit talking It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're. Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Hold on. It's 
Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, that's over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> and now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. That's a lot of corn. <clears throat> Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. What am I supposed to do? Oh, shoot the lock. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Hmm. Mother. This won't stop anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point out. Stay up here and get recovery for Do whatever you can to strike. Let's see what this baby can do. Shoot those goddamn speakers. Before it's driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Hey, you! Warning. Look, whoever's Weapons shooting, is just stop! I have clearance to be right. here! You can check the computer. My name is Sarah Whitaker, research specialist. ID number 2007659. Will you check the goddamn computer? God damn it! Do you hear me? I have clearance! Alert. Find Jim Moore! He was head of security. If he's here, get him and bring him to me. He can vouch for me. Meg, are you listening to me? I worked for Cloverdale. I can help you with the systems here. If your squad 
waters and you don't know how the place works, I can show you. Clear. <laughs> this is my new favorite toy. Why? <coughs> Woo! Locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, <laughs> we go in together. Where'd you come from? Come on! Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Now you guys hear Shot the keep your head down. There's more of them. I see him. He shot me. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Whoa. Whoa. Really? Yeah. Get through! Get through! Get this goddamn soul! Alert! Alert! This Jim, is a wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. <laughs> Same here. Make me waste my dang ammo. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand here. You will not be harmed. Okay, it's clear. Try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Yes. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please seek an IT for assistance. 
Uh oh. Hey, hey. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? There's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. 5429. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. You got it? Yeah, I don't remember this at all from Occupied Until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Are you kidding me? These days, that's all I do. Okay. Go. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Jim Moore! I know you're there! You. Answer me, goddammit! Deacon it. Lee St. John. ID 54209. Good morning, Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale. She's up there! Facility. This is your first like this. Please. Disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Here we go. Oh, what the hell with you? You should have left her down the chairs! Oh, you know what? I got him. Stand down and you will not be harmed. What do you think? You're walking away from this? This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel in the maintenance building. Wait here. I'll bring him to you. I was going to shoot the door. Hands! Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot or give up! Get up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh, God damn it! I said hands! Uh, all right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. 
I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? You didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We're She's gonna shoot him. Risk. Pop. Bye bye. <laughs> he deserves it. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grapefruit here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David what's... Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I classified don't know. project just he slow wanted, down and... he wanted to be the next edward snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing david gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of Hi, whatever Scotty. the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand what he means I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in the farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Well, that was intense. <clears throat> hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay, um, 
It's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Wrong button. Uh-oh. Power building. Yeah, that's, uh, it's gotta be it. Oh, come on. I was being super quiet. Easy deep. Oh man. Mm. Stop it. Oh, damn it. I had the wrong thing selected, too. The wheel gets more complicated. You think you're selecting one thing, but it doesn't always work that way. It's not the, it's not the best mechanic in the game. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me my ammo off. Now I just gotta jimmy that door. Wow, those crows really were annoying. That did it. I'm glad I thought to check back there. I'm going to go over here real quick. Okay, there's nothing. Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deacon? Deacon, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Good to hear from you too. Listen, I don't I got a lot of time. Uh the the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Me? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Mm hmm. You be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. 
Boozer, boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky. I'm glad, D. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did too. Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. <laughs> Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was with, and this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh... Oops. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. <laughs> hmm. Past two hour mark. It's clear. Ooh, cozy little cabin. Now, do we think some giggity might be happening? Are you gonna come out and eat something? Oh, some giggity is definitely going to happen. Nah.
<laughs> kissy, kissy. Although, I can't imagine that that's very comfortable. <laughs> Hard. Yeah, no, not, not, not comfortable at all. They need some cushions. And I believe Ray's was responding to me, Ben. <laughs> I probably didn't mind the floor. <laughs> Y'all might need to start notating in parentheses when you're responding to something I say so people in chat don't get confused. <laughs> <coughs> uh oh. It's getting cold outside. We're gonna connect with what you lost. Someone that I used to know, somebody. <gasps> remote, oh, that's C4, isn't it? Remote bomb, that's another way to say C4. Eh, ah, ugly. <laughs> What's up? What's up with you? St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. <coughs> I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? What's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? You're the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? Now what? <laughs> Corporal St. John. Sarge, good to see you. Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? Cheap and buying a new one, right? Come on, am I right? There you go. I'll buy another okay, frag, that's more like it. Yeah. Okay.
so much easier than driving there. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. Corporal, the colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah, copy that. St. John out. <coughs> Corporal, Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the militia. Yeah, I mean, it does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. Why are you not working hard? Why are you still in my obstacle course? Why are you not finished with my obstacle course? Do you like it that much? Do you want to run it again? Then be my guest, princess! Moving! Yes! Moving! Sergeant! Sergeant! Sergeant. Moving, sir! <laughs> Now I want bounties. Well, I guess I could do a few. You are new here. I am Lumi Ikeda. Deacon, Deacon St. John. You're, uh, you're the bounty collector around here? Yes, of course. We welcome anyone who will work to make the area safe. Good, good. Oh, okay. Corporal, goodbye and be safe. Ah, uh, Corporal St. John. Hey, sir. Jesus. Did you hear what happened to Dr. Menace? A recruit slit his throat ear to ear. S stole some drugs, I heard. Yeah, I, uh, I heard. Doc was a good guy. <coughs> I had an infection on my right arm. I thought I was going to lose it, but, but he saved it. Uh, my, my arm. Saved my life. Yeah, uh, the doc was, he was all right. Oh, that's the full tank that I can't unlock just yet. Trust level two. Oh, I got no monies here. Crap. Okay, then. Oh, I still haven't listened to his speech yet. Well...
Hold on, I got this. Colonel, reporting in. Corporal, yes. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. He'll have his fair trial tomorrow. And the morning in the dust. Fair trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. And then a fair hanging by the neck. Until dead. Ah, uh, yes. Fair trial. Then, uh, all right. Anyway, just reporting in. St. John. That gets so shit, annoying. <laughs> you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys? An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to <coughs> foster cooperation, unquote. Boston something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. And don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. They need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope? Maybe you're right for a change. <clears throat> you had any idea what they were cooking inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. Oh yeah, I remember riding over here. Well, that's not good. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Poor bike. Oh, boy. Hmm, excuse me.
Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. <laughs> Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. Oh, I don't have enough speed. Shiitake. <clears throat> I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Jesus, how little camp they got going on here. I gotta give him credit. He sure put up a fight. Yeah, she was a screamer, all right. Explosives, gotta find some explosives. I saw something. Is there someone out there? Finally, Jesus.
was that? Could make something out of this. You hear something? You hear something? going on. That was a lot of goddamn marauders. Oh, Jesus. Finally. Hey, Ethan, I presume, uh, yeah? How are you doing, Corporal? Buddy? Man, am I glad to see you. Yeah? You didn't want to join up with those assholes? Hell no. And I had no idea what they were going to do to me. Yeah, well, it wasn't going to be good. Uh, are you good to get out of here on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man.
fix this. Done. St. John to Captain Curie. Uh, it's done, sir. The kid is on his way back. Good work, St. John. You've been a huge part of what makes us successful. The Deschutes County Militia would not be the same without you. Thank you, sir. Um, I will radio in later and make sure he made it. St. John out. Captain Corey, um, at the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume? Copy that. Ah, I need fuel. <laughs> Deacon St. John to Captain Curry. Uh, how's that kid doing? Good. A little dehydrated and hungry. He tells me he's almost cleaned out the mess hall single handed. Well, tell him to save some for me. St. John up. St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Following orders. All right, Taylor. What the hell are you doing out here? Okay, let's take a look around. Okay. 
I gotta find a way inside. More ammo. Taylor. Huh. It's Dickens, St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I can't. I don't wanna... Hey, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Please. Don't let them hate me.
Hey, John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. Can mount your bike faster by holding a square while sprinting. I did not know that. Now I kind of want to try it. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, Colonel's not going to be happy about this. This game, despite being on the P running on the PS5, is a PS4 game with slow load times. Well, when we found him, he already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Oh, I am on PS5, Phantom. I'm playing PS4 game on the PS5. And it still has pretty slow load times. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Now what? <coughs> uh. Talk to Corey. Hmm, definitely getting tired. <laughs> hey there. Hey. I guess I have to wait till I trigger something. Supplies must be getting low. Rations were light today. Starving. You never get enough to eat. These aren't really worth all that much. What's up? Nothing. Deacon, uh, Corp. Hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Okay, no, I, I didn't mean that. Just. 
Just us grunts here, right? Shooting the shit? Yeah, we'll show some respect. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I, I didn't mean nothing. <laughs> See you, Corporal St. John. <clears throat> Corporal St. John. Sergeant, how's it going? Sarah, I need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Oh, oh okay. snap. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Huh? Oh, okay. Corporal St. John. Hey, what are you I'll doing see here? you around, yeah? I think it's horde time, guys. And I feel like I can hear you laughing, Phantom. <laughs> Oh, honey, honey for my car. Kind of Not tonight, like I that. haven't. Here. A lot of our honey is, is um... It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back. Kind of thick and crystally at the moment. I, I have so some cough syrup. I probably could take it soon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. But I really don't want to be feeling drowsy. Uh, when I go to do what I think I'm going to have to do soon. <laughs> Because I know that Sarah's going to need a test. Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> Never mind, this is not what colony of nudes. Oh my god, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey Captain, I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kinda busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry out. Shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. <laughs> um <laughs> hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific nude? 
South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh my god, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Oh. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Hurry up. Shit. Not so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. All right, you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. I'm okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know. Just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Uh-oh, definitely time to call Comcast. Tranquilize? I don't have any tranquilizer darts. What the hell? How do I get tranquilizer darts? Oh. Got you, you little shit. Oh, Jesus. Oops, I didn't get to get any collectibles. Oh well. Or not the collectibles, but the resources. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna... After I do this, and test Weaver's weapon. <clears throat>
Well, they were attacking him. I couldn't very well get to the one that I kept alive. Fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. No, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <laughs> that damn ring. Okay. <sighs> incendiary bulb. I need an incendiary bulb. Their biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. What you put in that? That shit went down fast. Damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god! Are you, are you are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale, that I could create antibodies for the virus, and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer... Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. 
Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back. Because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight no war, and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. <coughs> Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. Hmm. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. Good speech. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. <laughs> Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? <sighs> oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Oh, Lieutenant occupied Weaver. must have gone to bed. Yes, He's not going to get to see me go after my first horde. I think you should... should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south. You ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> Saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy.
What do we got? I don't even know. Oh, oh. I don't even know where to place the traps. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to go up, climb over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Oh, I have nothing to do with it. All right. I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. I mean, Phantom, do you know where I need to plant my traps? I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, good plan, Deke, except I have zero clue what I am doing. No clue where to put these traps. The chicken won't hoard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, like, where... I don't even know of an ideal spot to put these.
this off. I can use this. Okay. <coughs> ah, I can craft napalm now. It's glorious. Oh, yeah. We can use this again. Josh, you're just in time to see me go after my first horde. <clears throat> Hopefully that's not a waste planting one over there. Oxygen tanks. These would blow up pretty good. Oh, because I can plant it and shoot it, right? Yeah, I put one right there. And I put one right there. <laughs> so 
So does that mean that I can't go out that way? Yeah, I remember that they can climb on the trucks. Well, <coughs> was that not supposed to happen? Like, <laughs> how do I get out of here? I'm trapped. They sound like clickers. Well, maybe I don't want to get out of here now. I think I figured out how to get out of here. Are they on the roof? Oh my god, they sound so gross.
Oh crap. Uh oh, I don't know how to. Where's my napalm? Where's my napalm? awful I might have to um, save this for next time and make sure I've got occupied here I'm not sure I planted these in the right spots to begin with. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more hoard. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's oh, got nothing to do with it. All right. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. Lots of stuff in here.
Got it.
ain't got a better plan.
Time to die! Let go. Got their attention. I've got more Molotovs, ammo, in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy.
Shoot. I don't know how long I was muted. Um, <laughs> God, what a noob. I'm going to end it there. Um, so I can do some research, check out some guides, pick Occupied's brain, figure out a better strategy for this because I feel a little all over the place. And yeah. So, um, Assassin's Creed 2 tomorrow. Should be back with that. And uh, Mass Effect 2 on Sunday. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, finally made it to the Horde. <laughs> but, uh,. That's going to do it for me. I will see y'all tomorrow night for Assassin's Creed. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.